Today I'm going to show you how to create an infinite loop video within OpenAI Sora and this way you'll have a video that continuously plays without any noticeable beginning or end. The end basically flows seamlessly back into the beginning because of the seamless transition of the last frame blending very smoothly into the first. I'll also explain why you might want to create this in the first place. So once you open up the Sora platform at sora.chatgpt.com, what you're going to do is you're going to select video from the type down here. Then you're going to describe the video. So here I'll put in Bitcoin and Ethereum fighting one another. Now the aspect ratio is just the width to height. We're going to keep it 16 by 9 because that's the height and width of my screen. The resolution is something I want to discuss. If you go ahead and choose 480p, you're going to be able to move faster, but the quality will be less. However, if you're trying to do an endless loop in 720p, you might run into a problem because it actually only allows you to have five second videos. And when we do loop, which I'll show you later, you're gonna want some extra seconds in order for it to fill in the scene so that it can have the end frame be exactly as the beginning frame. So let me show that to you now. So we'll stick to 480p, we'll make it five seconds long, and we can actually select two or four variations. The reason we can choose this is because we didn't select 720. If you select 720, you only get the choice of one or two videos. At 480p, you get the selection of one, two, or four videos. On the current ChatGPT plan, I pay $20 a month. So with that being said, let me select four videos. Let me send it through. So here you can see the two variations. And what I can do is I can actually hover and watch it this way if you just hover over the screen or you can play it and it will go ahead and actually play the scene through. So once I select the video that I actually like, I can then click on the video and what I'll do is I will select loop. This is going to create a seamless loop of the video. Now this is important and I wish that OpenAI Sora provided some sort of timeline here so we could see exactly how many seconds it is, but I could set it up to start and finish at a certain point and then I can actually add to the loop. Now here's what I mean by adding to the loop. If you select a normal loop, it's actually going to add four seconds to complete the loop, right? If you select short, it'll only add two seconds to complete the loop. But remember, the first frame has to match the last frame. So you want it to end looking similar to the beginning. So if the end of your video is not similar to the beginning, you're going to want to go with a long or normal loop type. If the end is similar to the beginning, like a waterfall with just a stationary angle or something like a sheep jumping over a fence, then you really only just need a short loop. But for this one, I'm going to keep it at normal. I'll go ahead and select loop. And then it goes ahead and generates four different versions for us. And then I simply chose the one that I like. I went into Adobe Premiere Pro and I can actually just blend one into the other. I don't need any type of dissolve transition. I just go ahead and import the actual clip in and then I copy and paste it a few times. And if I play it through for you, you'll see that you can't quite tell where it started and where it ended. It's just a seamless loop. Like there is nothing clunky where the scene in a very clunky way starts and ends. The backgrounds all fuse together. That's the really impressive part of this. Content creators can use this in a whole plethora of ways. Now here's an example of a video where you probably only need just two seconds because the end frame is going to be so similar to the beginning frame. You don't need a lot of added time in order for it to be a seamless loop. So here when I select loop, I could just go ahead and select the short loop. Here's another example. Like let's say I wanted to create a meditation track or maybe create my favorite classical music and say like best music music to study to. This is the type of thing where I would use a waterfall like this, but you see how when it's going to end and go back to the beginning, we see that weird jitter. Instead of just film dissolving it in Premiere Pro, which probably is not going to do a good job, we can go ahead and use the loop feature. And again, you only need a short loop to achieve an absolutely 
endless video. Again, this could be two hours of classical music, and this could be the background piece. There are so many great uses for this for creators. Now, here's something I want to point out about working in 720p under just the $20 plan in ChatGPT. So here you see that I created a video of Taylor Swift and Elon Musk arguing. The way I did it is I actually used an image prompt that I created on Mid Journey, and then I went ahead and turned it into a five second clip. The problem here is, is if I go to loop it, the end is much different than the beginning. Their facial expressions are, the background is, so I probably need a normal or long loop. The problem is if I select normal loop type, which is going to add four seconds to complete the loop, you'll see that when I hit loop, it tells me that 720p videos can't be longer than five seconds. Please shorten the duration. So what I can do is I could just shorten this and then send it through. The other option would be is I could go with creating a four second version because here I'm only able to use the short version if I wanna keep at least three seconds of the video. Here's the problem. If you take a look at this loop, it is not very clean. There is clearly the background gets clunky and then just transforms back into stuff. Their actual facial expressions and body, it does a good job morphing the ending and the beginning. Not a pristine job, but good enough for these tools. And that's why if I was working on this video, I would actually go ahead and I would upload this from my device. And instead of selecting 720, I would go ahead and select 480p. And this way I can go longer than five seconds on videos, but I would probably keep it at five seconds so that I can add four seconds in the loop. And by the way, when you're working with 480p, you can generate four videos. So it's gonna give you four different variations rather than just two. That could prove to be quite helpful as well. So with that being said, I appreciate all of you for tuning in for the majority of this video. And please don't stay glued to computer screens just playing with these AI tools. Please go ahead and live real life. Touch grass, go to the beach, spend time with your loved ones, keep it balanced. Because if you keep it balanced, you can be happy like this sloth here.